Okay, this here video is about the Seagate Barracuda 1.5 terabyte hard drive. There are two versions of this drive that are out there. It's taken me a lot of searching on the internet to find this out. But what will happen is you will put this computer, this uh, hard drive in your computer and your system may not even see it when it boots up. And you put the jumpers in place to make it compatible with your old system and it still doesn't see it. Here's what's happening. There are two versions of this drive out there. Uh, Seagate apparently quit supporting the jumper pin option. The pins are still there on the back of the drive, but they're non-functional. The uh, jumper pins that we're talking about limit the drive speed, which makes the drive compatible with older uh, SATA 1 motherboard systems. One way that you'll know uh, which drive you got is that, well, for one thing, they don't come with a jumper. The other way is that the drive itself, I'm not using a very good camera for macro work here, but the drive itself, uh, it shows the uh, power connector and the SATA connector, but there's no mention whatsoever of the uh, jumper options, which you will see on some of the other 1.5 terabyte Seagate drives. You'll see the same diagram, but you'll also see another diagram next to it, which also has the jumper option for limiting your drive speed. So what happens here is that you put the drive inside an older system like I have here, and uh, it just doesn't see the drive. Now you still can use the drive on these systems with one of these. This is a uh, SATA to uh, a USB to SATA adapter cable. This is a nice one here. It's got indicator lights to tell you what's going on. USB connectivity, SATA identification, and a busy light. You plug this into your USB, you plug this into your SATA drive, it's uh, true hot swapping. You don't have to reboot and you can use these drives with that, although you're limited to 480 megabits per second because it's USB. If you have huge amounts of data to move, <laughs> well, it, it can take a while. But that's the story behind these uh, Seagate 1.5 terabyte drives. There's apparently two versions of them out there and uh, you may need to know which one you have.